Hey guys, what's happening? It's T Man, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make a photo look better and uh, like enhance the colors in Adobe Photoshop uh, CS 5.5, I believe it is. And uh, so this is going to be kind of a short video, but uh, first off, you want to go to File, New. And then I'm just going to use the uh, the uh, preset or whatever uh, of 1280 by uh, 720 and uh, just click OK. And uh, then we're going to uh, uh, import our picture that we got and you can do this with any picture and I just went ahead and got a uh, picture off the internet and uh, this is how I like to do it. I just right click on the picture and uh, go to open with and then go to Adobe Shop. Oh, and this is CS 5.1 actually. So, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1, anyways. And then I like to uh, click on the uh, what is it? Rectangular marquee tool and uh, select the whole picture and then hit. Uh, or actually go to image then image size and then change the dimensions of the image to our uh, canvas which is 1280 by 720 and uh, click OK and it looks it looks kind of uh, blurry or whatever but uh, that's that's not how it look when you transfer it over so uh, select the the image just with the marquee tool and uh, hit control C on your keyboard for copy uh, it might be command C or whatever on a Mac I'm not familiar with Mac though and then go back to uh, your canvas click on it and then uh, hit control V to uh, paste and it looks kinda choppy right here but if you uh, zoom out to like 33 percent it looks better and uh, you can probably expand the picture and everything but uh... so what we're gonna do is once you have your picture and everything you're gonna go up to image and pretty much all you have to do is uh... you can go into adjustments to uh... change the brightness contrast everything like that or you could do the auto tone auto contrast and auto color uh, those are just for like people who don't want to mess around with the stuff and just want it automatically done. But in adjustments, uh, you uh, can go to the brightness and contrast, the levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue, saturation, and stuff like that. And uh, really, for uh, your picture, it might be different because the colors and lighting might be different in your picture. And uh, so you're gonna have to play around in within the settings of Adobe Photoshop so usually what I like to do is I like to go I mess around with the brightness and slash contrast and the uh, hue and saturation so the brightness you can just make it darker or uh, brighter I like to make it depending on the picture of where it is and what the scene is uh, I like to make it kind of lighter and uh, the contrast see what we can do with this you can kinda make it darker just to add in more color or whatever and uh, hit OK and uh, you can also go to hue and saturation and this picture right here isn't really it doesn't have that much of a of colors in it, it just has blue black like white, whitish yellow, like cream color and pink. So you won't really see that much of a difference. If you're trying to get like a like a professional looking picture, uh make sure you're using a uh a good camera with a 1080p or whatever. Or I'm not sure if that's the that's what it is. But uh make sure uh you're using like a good camera that does good quality because the person that uh took this picture I don't know what type of quality their camera had, but maybe when they were upload, uploading it or something, the quality got messed up because, as you can see, there's a little blur around the flamingo, the flamingo's head, and it kind of gets blurry, or maybe it just wasn't uh, meant to be at this proportion, but whatever. 
so when you're in the uh, hue you can just it pretty much kind of changes the color see you some some of it might look bad but uh, you have to pick the right color that is good for you and uh, since this is a beach we'll try to go for like a like a lighter color like that and uh, saturation uh, changes the amount of color within the picture and uh, you can go all the way down to gray scale or like blast the color and uh, you don't want to do either of those when you're trying to get a good picture you mainly unless you want to doing like black and white picture but this is not necessary and uh, so the, the uh, saturation should be a little higher up the lightness you can make it darker to make it look like it's dark in there you can just like white it out dark it black white and like dark it and make it lighter so uh, we can kinda make it lighter see where we want it also also play around with some of the other stuff color balance Let's see what we have in here you can balance it between the cyan colors and uh make it more red or uh, more cyan or get it just in between uh, I think we might try to make this more of a uh, cyan color just cause it's uh, on the beach and you can also go between magenta and green uh, might want to make a little magenta just to give the flamingos the color back uh, yellow and blue might want to make it let's see more of a yellow color just for the sand and uh... let's make it less or should we make it we'll probably make it less and uh... click ok oh wow this thing just messed up alright whatever let's just set this back real quick alright whatever we got this and then image adjustments you can go to levels which is probably the levels of a uh, red green and blue within the within the uh, picture and this is pretty much like a color thing you could just select the colors haven't played around with this one too much don't want to mess anything up you can probably figure it out if you're if you're trying to get it that good um, mess around with the uh, curves of the picture and the color and everything make it lighter or darker Let's see darken it around the uh, I think it's around like the dark you make it the more it comes in from the outside of the picture and also does a little bit to the inside so make it look like we had like a lens or whatever uh, image adjustments let's go to vibrance see what this does just makes the colors sharper I guess saturation once again gives you more of a chance to saturate your image a little bit more and, uh, so yeah this is pretty much how you would uh, mess around with the uh, colors of your pictures and uh, you can also change the image size and the camera size from here if you don't like how it is but uh, I hope this video helped you and uh, showed you a little bit of how to uh, make your photos look better instead of just a looking like you just took it off a of camera and just uploaded it to wherever you're putting it or just showing it to whoever you're showing it so actually like take the time to uh, edit it a little bit and uh, make it look better uh, so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys later see ya